All right, just a quick video, um, just to maybe keep you from making a mistake someday. Um, I have a little uh, generator here. This one is a, a Max 2870. I've showed this before on the channel. Um, it goes up to six gigahertz, um, goes down to 23 megahertz though, which is nice. So I have it set to 100 megahertz. And so if you have a nice oscilloscope, uh, come over here, adjust the uh, camera, there we go. So we have a uh, uh, 100 megahertz, nice square wave. Uh, we'll go to 200 megahertz, uh, square wave, everything's fine. 300 megahertz, 400 megahertz, you go, oh, well at 400 megahertz, then my um, little generator uh, puts out a sine wave. At 500 megahertz, 600 megahertz. Uh, so, you know, this is a one gigahertz oscilloscope. So at a gigahertz, you got this lovely sine wave. So you go, great, I've got this nice sine wave generator, okay? Uh, at least at high frequencies. So, you know, at low frequencies it's square, but that's okay. So what mistake did I just make? Well, uh, we didn't consider that my oscilloscope may be bandwidth limited, right? So over here is a spectrum analyzer looking at the spectrum of the uh, 100 megahertz square wave. And you can see all the harmonics that a square wave has. 200, 300 megahertz, 400, 500, 600 megahertz, 700, 800. Now, what did you notice? Nothing changed here. The harmonic structure of the waveform never changed. This goes out to 3.2 gigahertz. And you can see that the harmonic structure is the same no matter what, okay? So at all frequencies, it seems to be a square wave. Uh, let's see here, 80. Uh, I'm not trying, trying to do something. Okay, so uh, let's show them at the same time. Square wave, square wave, square wave, square wave, sine wave, but that didn't change. Sine wave, sine wave, see that didn't change. That's because we're only limited to a gigahertz here. So after 500 megahertz, that's definitely over the edge of the oscilloscope, right? The second harmonic is at a gigahertz. But even here at 400 megahertz, the, the band with the oscilloscope is throwing away those harmonics at the high end and still showing a sine wave, even though there is an 800 megahertz um, uh, information. There's our 800, informa 800 megahertz information there. It's down 38 dB do, though. It's not seeing the uh, third harmonic any longer, okay? So if we come down here to where it is now, um, uh, seeing a bit of harmonic structure for the square wave, right? The oscilloscope is seeing this uh, this third harmonic. If I go here to marker, uh, you can see that this lump, oops, this peak here is at 900 megahertz, so the scope's actually able to see that harmonic, and so we're able to show that it's a, that it's somewhat of a square wave. Okay. Anyway, that's the trap for for uh, using your oscilloscope at high frequency. So if you only have a 100 megahertz oscilloscope, of course, it's going to be much, much worse than this. You'll never see square waves above uh, 50 megahertz, right? Uh, so be, be aware of that. Uh, in fact, we can demo that here. We can say that we have a, uh, oops, let's say that we have a, a 200 megahertz oscilloscope. I've, I've bandwidth limited it to 200. And uh, so here's 200 megahertz. And we knew before that it was definitely a square wave. But here it looks like it's a sine wave. Here's 100 megahertz. It's still kind of a roundy sine wave. And we have to get kind of down here at 70 megahertz before we start to see the square wave type, type of thing, right? And so, yeah, if you only have 100 megahertz oscilloscope, you're not going to see those square waves at high frequency, even though they're outputting all kinds of harmonic content.